Hello again, it's Selena and Shiva. Having fun. We Bye are having you. fun at Vital Git. In a very friendship way, we are exploring some tantric sex techniques. So here is one where I find the healing side of healing with sex is very linked. So it's establishing that energetic connection with someone. And what we are going to do here now is look at this establishing this energetic connection through our main energy centers, the chakras. So this is how I usually do this. And Shiva is going to receive this time. So Shiva is just sitting, relaxing, breathing deeply into his stomach and being open to receive. Exactly. So yeah. it's, it's very important when, when we are having here at the beginning of the practice that I accept, mm. you know, to receive. I become the receiver and I consciously release control over what's going to happen. Over, I can always give a pause or boundary or a limit. We always have a safety word, which is like pause or stop. Yeah. So if you do anything that becomes uncomfortable to me, that's, that's within the tantric sex practice always there. Yeah. So otherwise, I just relax and I don't try to touch her. I don't try to engage or play. It's really, I'm the receiver, I'm passive, and you are the one who is mm. the, the giver. Okay. And are you okay with me touching your body or just your field, your energy field? No, touching my body is fine. Okay, okay. So Shiva's going to relax now and I'm going to start with just first of all engaging his energetic field with gentle touch. So establishing this connection With the crown first, with the third eye. Just allowing this energetic connection to happen. To feel each other's energy. And again, as we mentioned in the prior video, doing so at a gentle pace. I'm not just very aggressively going and, and touching wherever I want of his energetic field. I'm, and I'm only applying a slight bit of pressure at each of his energy centers. And you can set your intention here also. And your intention can be a loving intention. It can be tenderness, it can be healing, whatever that intention, whatever the intention that you have. So right now, I have the intention of sending love to Shiva. And again, like in the last practice, we are not looking at each other. Shiva is going inside internally and relaxing into this. But we are breathing together. And this heart hold can be a very powerful one. But it's really important to ask permission here for anyone particularly that's suffered from some kind of previous trauma, sexually or otherwise. And we have the chakra centers on the front and the back of the body. So I'm just doing the same as I do in the front and the back.
the sacral. I'm just using, I'm just touching his energetic field. So it's just holding this energetic field, or sorry, for the, the root chakra at the base of the spine. I'm tapping into this his energetic shield for this, for his energetic um, body. And Shiva, just a little bit of gentle touch just to bring you back. Uh, would you like to... How, how is that for you? Let's go a little bit closer here. Yeah. How did you feel? Um, yeah. So I feel um, you know, a radical difference mm. between the, the first set of practice that we did in terms of, uh, you know, uh, that uh, where there was, you know, the eye gazing and really the mm -hmm. connecting together. Like right now when I become really, um, you know, passive and receiver, and also it becomes very healing touch, yeah. then uh, I feel like uh, my sexual energy right now is totally disengaged. It mm. means that it's no longer about sexual energy. And I don't feel a sexual input on your side either. Mm. So we move into something that becomes healing. But mm. what's very interesting, I mean, first it feels really good, you know, it feels very nurturing. It yeah. feels like something that uh, I enjoy receiving. Uh, and the, the other aspect which is important is that if we never met before, you doing something like that to me allows us to connect energetically. Mm. So if you are yeah. thinking still within the vital sex or the tantric sex context, this can be a form of foreplay. You know, it can be a, yeah. a form of, let me just get familiar with feel, feeling your physical touch. And if you do that, actually, you are going to create a sense of trust and comfort. Especially, for instance, if I'm spending time with a woman who has been traumatized in her childhood or is, who has who has really, uh, you know, who is not comfortable with physical touch in a sexual way, then first you start with some, some healing touch. So, in, as far as I'm concerned, this is totally part of the, the practice and the potential things that we, that we can do. We can engage after a practice like that into engaging into something that becomes more dynamic and so on. But um, yeah, for, for, for what's happening here, it's, it's perfect and it's, it's totally part of the, of the uh, energetic connection that mm. we, are, we are building up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you.